Hi all and welcome back to Scala Collections. Two of the most common operations in any application are to search and to sort. We have already seen in previous videos on how we can use filter or for yield syntax to search through the data or any collection. In this video, I will discuss sorting with sequence in Scala. Two common ways to sort sequence in Scala is sorted. This will sort the sequence in natural order. Sort with. Sort with takes input as custom function to sort a sequence. You can also use sort with to arrange collections in descending order. So let's go ahead and jump to Scala REPL to explore sorting. I'll first declare a sequence of random numbers. Now I will pick up val number with dot operator and then use sorted function. You might think, no, there is no way it could be as easy as that. Well, guess what? It is. Let me hit enter and there you go. The list of numbers has been sorted. Now let's go ahead and take a look at another example. It works just as well with strings. I will pick up some of the popular cities across the world. Let us pick up cities and call sort again. And there you go. Cities are all sorted in alphabetical order. Well, this is all good, quick and easy. But what if I want to sort the cities by length of characters rather than alphabetical order? This is where sort with comes handy. Let us take a quick look at sort with syntax. I will pick up cities again and this time use sort with. All we have to do is that we need to inform Scala about what should happen when it picks up two elements in the sequence. So I'll name the elements as city1 and city2. Next is to fetch and compare the length. And here I have all the cities in ascending order of length. What else? I can perform a little bit of a cleanup here. I can extract the comparison logic in another function. So I will declare this new method compare cities that will take in two parameters and compare them as per the length. Then I will use compare cities method to sort the sequence. And here we have the same result again. If you are feeling all the more lazy and do not want to write a method or even name the variables, just use function literals like this and that will do the job. All right, I quickly want to show you this last example just to make sure that we understand sort with in detail. Consider the sequence of tuples with cities along with the countries. Now. I want to sort the sequence in alphabetical descending order of country names. Again, descending order of the country names, which is the second part of the tuple. I will use sort with and inform Scala to sort the sequence using second element of tuple. Here is our result. So sorting in Scala is ridiculously easy. It's all sorts of fun to use. And once you start to play around with it, I'm sure you will find all sorts of interesting uses for the sorted feature in Scala. In the next video, I will discuss more on sorting and ordering. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Please post your comments and suggestions.